Hello, everyone. This is Comic. Troubleshoot. RJ. And Sizzlet. Back with another week of Halo Infinite news. Today, we'll talk about the Appening 2 operation, what's to come, and more. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now, let's jump right into it. The Yappening 2 operation is live for its third week. This operation contains a pass with 20 free grunty rewards, including items like the Glibnub Special Armor Coating, the Yapster and Grunt Ball Weapon Charms, and the Hawker Helmet. Buying either of the Premium Pass options will also grant players the Glibnub's Golden Guns Weapon Coating, and make it so that the pass never expires. Along with this operation, Firefight has also been replaced by the Grunt Apocalypse game mode, where all enemy units are now replaced with Grunts. The new arena map Corrosion will also drop sometime during this operation. This outside arid map contains deadly acid pits, which will hurt players if they happen to walk through them. This operation should last roughly four to six weeks, and then it should be followed up by a brand new operation. No information is known yet on what the next set of operations will be, but we imagine we should get some news for them very soon. We should also expect news on Halo Infinite's Match Composer very soon, which will allow players to search for the game modes they'd like to play. More details should drop in the coming weeks for new operations and future updates, so stay tuned here for all your big event news. Time for this week's Capstone Challenge. This week's Capstone Challenge requires you to detect three or more enemy Spartans with a single threat sensor. When completed, the challenge will grant you the Shot Code Emblem set. This emblem is on my radar, that's for sure. Good luck to everyone using the threat sensor this week. On to this week's shop. The shop contains loads of styles that will help you survive the Grumpocalypse. HGS bundles are also still available, containing new team emblems, weapon coatings, and the Corpse Rat Battle Rifle Weapon model. Out of all the bundles, the Latch Point bundle is the first semi-weekly bundle for this week. The first bundle in the shop is the Cestus Bundle, which includes items like the Glib Nubs Deal Weapon Coating and the Vicious Psychic Weapon Model. The second bundle in the shop is the Theodore Bundle, which contains items like the Theodore Helmet and the Theodore Armor Coating. The third bundle in the shop is the Emil Bundle, which contains the Enshackled Fury Armor Coating, the Resilio Shoulders, and the Emil Helmet. The fourth bundle in the shop is the Blackstone Lichen Bundle, which contains the Blackstone Lichen Armor Coating and the Autumn's Fall Weapon Coating. The fifth bundle in the shop is the Brands of Balaho Super Bundle, which includes all the items from the Daka Bay, Taskmaster, and Salvage Rights Bundles, as well as the Brands of Balaho Armor Effect and the Rhythm and Ruin Mythic Effect Set. The sixth bundle in the shop is the Conqueror Bundle, which contains items like the Conqueror Helmet and the Vicious Bulldog Weapon Coating. The seventh bundle in the shop is the Bogart Bundle, which contains the Bogart Armor Kit and the Brute Might Armor Coating. The eighth bundle in the shop is the Cerulean Distress Bundle, which contains the Cerulean Distress Armor Coating, the White Steel Heart Plate Chest Piece, and the White Steel Van Brace Wrist Attachment for the Rakshasa Armor Core. The ninth bundle in the shop is the Dark Control Bundle, which contains the Bullet Bandolier Chest Piece for the Mark V Armor Core and the Dark Control of Armor Coating. The last bundle in the shop is the Children of Tish Bundle, which contains the Children of Tish Armor Coating, the Brands of Doisac Armor Effect, and the Pad Pad Dreams Visor. These bundles will help any player survive the grunt-filled wastelands. Better don some Spartan Power Armor to combat these grunty foes. As always, check out the Infinite News Twitter to catch all the daily and weekly items the minute they are released. Time for this week's Halo Infinite promotions. A nameplate backdrop can still be earned with a purchase from the Wolverine X Halo Spartan Collection. By purchasing a pair of boots from this limited edition collection and signing up for emails from Wolverine, you can get yourself the Plasma Lock backdrop for Halo Infinite. After purchase, an order confirmation email should come through detailing how to unlock this backdrop. If you're the kind of Spartan that's always first to put their boots on the ground, 
consider purchasing a pair of these boots to unlock yourself this striking backdrop. Promotions are still available with the Xbox Gear Shop. By purchasing specific Halo-themed apparel from the online store, you'll receive a code to unlock emblems for Halo Infinite. Players can unlock the Hannibal Heavies emblem, the Korolev Grizzlies emblem, the Lethbridge Gravitics emblem, the Mizraya Maulers emblem, or the Nef Tali Omnisports emblem by purchasing the corresponding hat or shirt. Be sure to check out these Xbox Gear Shop items if you wish to sport these great looks in-game and on the streets. For more information about the Wolverine promotion, the Gear Shop promotion, or any of the other ongoing Halo Infinite promotions, check out the Infinite News website. It's now time for this week's Community Highlights. 3D artist Big Natters shared this render titled Wolves, disguised as men, and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the render, we can see a Spartan with a rose on their helmet posing with a heavily modified gun in front of a halo ring. We really like the framing and posing of this piece. This Spartan looks great in front of the large space backdrop, and we really like how they're dimly lit within this nighttime shot. The stance the Spartan is striking with their hefty gun also looks stoic, and we like how they look ready to gun down any enemy that gets in their way. This Spartan is prepared to brave any mission, whether it be on a halo ring or a mysterious alien world. To see this piece, as well as more amazing works from Big Natters, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. Artist Uriel Ortega created this red and black halo graphic and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the artwork, we can see a graphic mashing UNSC soldiers, weapons, and text together to create an incredible Halo poster. I really like the color palette and the design of this piece. The red, black, and white colors of this poster blend super well together, and we especially like how each image contains a different balance of these colors. The typography and different designs of this graphic also look amazing, and our favorite part has got to be the battle rifle seen going across the Halo font. This poster perfectly takes a bunch of fan-favorite Halo elements and puts them together into a super eye-catching Halo graphic. To see this piece, as well as more phenomenal works from Uriel Ortega, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. 3D artist Silent Meow created this render titled We're Spartans, Kelly, We Don't Miss, and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the render, we can see Spartans embarking from the back of a pelican in the middle of outer space. We really enjoy the lighting and composition of this piece. These Spartans look great getting into their spaceflight formation, and we really like how the sunlight shines brightly across the sides of their armor sets. The perspective of them in front of the Covenant vessel and the large planet below also looks breathtaking, and the stars draping the dark background look especially stunning. This shot shows that no mission is too dangerous for Spartans, especially when humanity's survival is on the line. To see this render, as well as more incredible works from Silent Meow, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. It's now time for the Forge Map Spotlight. This week, we have two maps to showcase. The first map we're featuring today is great if you like to set the world on fire. This is Icebreaker by Hail Infinite Forger's Ludo HT, Pissed Off Cat, and Handsome Huber. This map takes place on a small hexagonal ice arena out in the middle of open water. It works best with 4 to 12 players. This map is easy to play on, yet super challenging. Each player is equipped with a fire pistol, which will be able to melt the hexagonal ice floor of the arena. Every player gets a single life and can lose it if they get hit too many times by enemy players or if they fall down into the deep waters below. At the start of a round, random high ground points will also spawn around the arena which are great places to stand on since they're placed on top of other ice blocks. Besides the arena, we're also super impressed with the background details of this map, and we especially like the UNSC frigate, seen far off in the distance. In order to be the king of this arena, a Spartan will have to be quick and nimble while dodging and firing hot fireballs on this chaotic hexagonal iceberg. To break the ice on this map for yourself, bookmark Ludo HT's Pissed Off Cats and Handsome Huber's map via the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. The second map we're featuring today is great if you like to claim the city streets as your own turf. This is Boulevard 
by Halo Infinite Forger Unique and their Forge group. This map is a remake of the map Turf from Halo 2, and is great for arena game modes, especially Fiesta. This map takes the design palette of the map Bazaar and turns it into an incredibly faithful Turf remake. We love the building details seen along the boulevard streets, and the tight alleyways filled with many details and much chaos. This map features a bunch of cool dynamic elements, with our favorite being the pelicans that can be seen flying periodically over the center of the main map boulevard. Many objects from the original map were also created for this version, like the small barracks found at the end of the main road, and the downed scarab found nestled between the buildings and debris. Players can find a shotgun and warthog at the road intersection towards the back of the map, a sniper rifle nearby, above the mentioned warthog, and an overshield pickup on the other side of the map, right beside the burning scarab. This city may be experiencing a time of crisis, but its winding alleyways and long streets serve as the perfect battlefield for Spartans to test out both their long-range and close-quarters combat proficiencies. To go down shady alleyways and play in traffic for yourself, bookmark Unique's map via the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. Before we sign off, we'd like to share two amazing plays and a funny clip from Infinite News members LEGO1322, Basic, and Crimson Wolf 147. That is all the community highlights we have for you folks today. If you'd like to see your art, maps, or Halo clips potentially featured here, be sure to join our Discord, linked below, and feel free to say hi and share your creations from time to time. And with that, that is all the infinite news we have for you folks today. Play the Yappening 2 operation today to start unlocking grunty rewards from the free Operation Pass. Remember to send feedback to 343 on all their social media pages so they can better improve all aspects of Halo Infinite for the future. Also, check out the shop and review the promotions if you want to claim additional items for your Spartan. Follow the links in the description for more info on everything shown today and check out Infinite News for more on what's new in Halo Infinite. The Yappening 2 operation is still around and we should expect some brand new updates very soon. Get excited for more news as we approach the beginning of May. Enjoy the rest of April, everyone! We will see you all in Infinite.